Well, hi, everybody. Welcome back to Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Todd Munkin, presented by Bank Corp South. Big win for the Golden Eagles on Saturday at the Rock. They knock off the Monarchs of Old Dominion. So the Golden Eagles now uh, on the verge of getting ready to go play for the Conference USA West Division Championship at Louisiana Tech. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But, uh, Todd, kind of a slow start for the Golden Eagles on Saturday against ODU, but uh, really got it going in the second half. We did. It frustrating early. Um, we really had control of the game and then kind of the strip fumble on Nick kind of turned it a little bit and, and, and settled them down a little bit and we didn't, uh, you know, we didn't respond as well as we could have. We had other opportunities through an interception in the score zone, missed a field goal. and uh, so. But I, th I thought our team responded well in the second half. Well, in that third quarter, uh, you, you get ahead, you go down and score coming out of the locker room, so you get ahead, but then they come back and score uh, the next two times they have the football. But then a couple of big turnovers by ODU, takeaways by the Golden Eagles, really kind of flipped the game, the momentum around. Just like it had flipped towards them in the first half, you know, we get that score and then they drive it all the way down, get a touchdown, then we go for it on fourth down and don't get it. And then they hit one play and all of a sudden, boy, you're down 10. What just happened, you know, at home? And guys made some plays. Then we get a turnover and get another touchdown, get another turnover. And right away, all of a sudden, we're up 11. And, and then it really did flip at that point. You guys in this, uh, the ball game, uh, you, you go in always want to try to run the ball effectively. Uh, didn't have a lot of success early. But there in the second half, Richard, Smith, everybody really started doing a good job carrying the football. Really did. Wasn't very good the first half. We didn't run it very well. Obviously, our plan wasn't uh, nearly what it needed to be. But I thought our coach did a great job at halftime. We changed to more, you know, some outside zone schemes and, and got them moving a little bit. And our, our backs made good cuts. And, uh, and really, that, that was the key to victory, being able to run the football. And it's a little, uh, you look at the defense for the Golden Eagles, uh, the numbers show you played very well, and you did. It's just a couple of points that they got or points that they got came off mistakes early on by the Golden Eagles. Sure did. You know, and we had uh, even the drive right before halftime, they, they converted two real third and long. Um, you know, plays and, and then they got a fourth down play and, and even on the, you know, we gave them the one. So, you know, we started off fast defensively and we ended fast, which is uh, which is good. You guys have been really good and we're in this Old Dominion game on third down. I don't remember what the exact numbers were, but uh, a high percentage of uh, conversions on third down, same on fourth down. What's, uh, what's the key to being successful on third down? Well, it's having a good quarterback and, and having receivers understand spacing and how to get there because you're going to get a lot more, especially if it's third and long. You know, you're going to get con third and medium, you're going to get more man coverage, and third and long, you're going to get some blitz, third and extra long, some zone. I think our guys have got a pretty good idea of the concepts we run. Nick's very good at finding people. And, you know, and then, and then on fourth down, just, just having the confidence to go for it and making sure we're dialing up the right plays. Jalen Richard, we talked about the running game. Jalen went over 1,000 yards, first time that's happened at Southern Miss since 2009, and over 2,000 in his career. It's great to see him have success this year after he's battled injuries throughout his career. Sure has. I mean, he started off all the way back in high school with injuries, and then he's been banged up, and a year ago missed the first six games after, uh, after Mississippi State. So had a great off season, and then uh, really has had a great uh, senior year. Casey Martin, another guy, he now has more catches than anybody in a single season at Southern Miss. Uh, that's a pretty neat story. A guy who uh, left the University of Houston, came to Southern Miss, and has had two great years. Just wanted an opportunity. Wanted to play in an offense where, you know, he could showcase his skill set, knowing that the style of offense that we run was going to give him the best chance to be able to do that. And having the right quarterback, you know, you've got to, a slot receiver that's an option route runner and intermediate route runners got to have a quarterback that can process and understand where to get him the ball in space. Well, it was Southern Miss and the Monarchs of Old Dominion on Saturday at the Rock. Let's go back and take a look at the highlights of the Golden Eagle victory. Handoff, Richard left tackle. He walks in. Touchdown, Southern Miss. And the Golden Eagles take the early lead. Play action, fake under pressure. Down the field, caught by Martin. Touchdown, Southern Miss. What a throw by Nick Mullins. He had a linebacker bearing down on him. He fired it over the middle to a wide open. Casey Martin, touchdown, Southern Miss. And the Eagles regain the lead. 
four receivers for Mullins. Play action fake, center of the field. Martin reaches out, makes a catch on his fingertips, going down inside the 25 at the 24. Wow, what a catch by Casey Martin. Three receiver set. And a handoff to Cox, sweeping side, and he got his feet taken out from under him by Kalen Reed. Mullins to throw, left side, and that is caught for a touchdown, Southern Miss. Mike Thomas was able to find a little separation in that front left corner of the end zone on Aaron Young and makes the over-the-shoulder catch for a touchdown. Play action fake. He looks to throw. Left sidelines for Mike Thomas. Comes back and makes a catch across midfield and down the 40. They can't get him down. He's finally pushed out of bounds at around the 40 yard line. First down, Southern Miss. Second down at six. Nick will step up in the pocket, throw a slant, or that's caught by DJ Thompson. He gets it across the 50. Eagles to Ito, right side, breaks a tackle, cuts back left side, now back up the middle at the 30, and fights his way inside the 20, and down to near the 18-yard line. Tackle made that time by Rotimi. Thompson is wide to the right side, Eagles hand it off to Ito, right side, cuts back at the 10, he scores, touchdown Southern Miss. Looked like he was heading around the right side, he cut back about the 10, Ran through the arms of a tackler, got it into the end zone of the Golden Eagles answer. He's going to throw that little wider screen screen again to Pascal. And Pascal fumbled the football, got hit, fumbled it, picked up by the Golden Eagles. Eagles have it still on their feet. Swain has it, and the Eagles have the football. That's exactly what we needed. We needed a big turnover, and the defense came up and won right there. Great job defensively for the Eagles. They'll give it a Richard left tackle, and he scores! Touchdown, Southern Miss! He went diagonally off the left side between Hill and Farmer and went in untouched for a Golden Eagle touchdown. Double receivers to both sides. He takes his step, drops the throw to the sidelines, batted down, intercepted! Intercepted by the Golden Eagles inside the five-yard line. It is Naeem Mustafa. Mullins to Richard, trying to go behind those guys. Now bounces the outside, touchdown Southern Miss. Oh, they thought he was going inside. JR bounced it around the left side, goes in untouched for a touchdown. Richard, the running back, handoff Richard, look at the hole. Left side, cuts it to the left sideline at the 40 and fights his way out of bounds, just shy of midfield. Mullins to Edo, left side, big hole. Turns it up to the 45, the 40. Can't make catch him. Down the sidelines, cuts back into the 20. He's going to take it down to the 11 yard line. Mullins off that left hash, look at the throw. Looking and looking and looking, got sacked. Oh, he got away! And he's on his feet at the 10, at the 5, touchdown Southern Miss! Oh boy! Nick Mullins was caught back around the 18 yard line. They were about to pull him down. He pulls loose and runs into the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Miss. And they'll hand it off to Richard around the right side and he breaks through a tackle, heads to the right side, cuts back in, pushes his way up the field. He got a first down. That guy didn't want to go down. Mullins to the running back, Richard. There's the record. Richard breaks open. He's at the 30. Forget it. He's going the distance. Touchdown, Southern Miss. Jalen Richard. A 54-yard touchdown run. He becomes a 2,000-yard career rusher and goes over the 1,000-yard mark this season for the Golden Eagles, the first to do it since 2009 when Damian Fletcher did that. And this one is going to belong to the Golden Eagles tonight. The Golden Eagles head to Ruston, Louisiana next Saturday with a record of 8-3, 6-1 in Conference USA. This edition of Southern Miss Sports Today with Todd Munkin is presented by Bancor South, right where you are. And brought to you in part by the City of Hattiesburg, a proud sponsor of Southern Miss Athletics, UPS. From figuring it out to getting it done, UPS is here to help. Hattiesburg Coca-Cola, want a taste of everything? Drink Coke Zero with real Coke taste and zero calories. 
We'll be back with this week in Southern Miss football right after this. People ship all kinds of things. But what if that thing is a few hundred thousand doses of flu vaccine? That need to be kept at 41 degrees. While being shipped to a country where it's 90 degrees. In the shade. Sound hard? Yeah. Does that mean people in Laos shouldn't get their vaccine? We didn't think so. From figuring it out to getting it done. We're here to help. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this prestigious award. I'd like to thank my friends and family. Coming, Mama. As I'm saying, I'd also like to thank my educators for all the donors. Without them, I couldn't do anything. And the winner of the first place award for small cities is Hattiesburg, Mississippi for the education initiative. What are you doing back there, Haley? Feeling like a winner. And we're back, Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Todd Munkin presented by Bank Corp South. Well, each week during this segment of the show, we have featured uh, the Golden Eagle seniors, 20 uh, young men who have done a great job in their own kind of unique way for the Golden Eagles over their uh, careers, whether it's been a one-year career, a two-year career, or a four- or five-year career. And uh, Todd, uh, it, it's always neat uh, on senior day to, to see these guys. It's, it's, if you've been around them, it's got to be emotional as a coach, as a player, as parents, as assistant coaches to, to see these guys kind of wrap up their careers. Well, it is. And, and if they haven't graduated, they're on, they're on pace to graduate, which is the number one reason you come to college is to get an education, develop yourself from a young man to a man. Because when they leave here, you know, as good a job as we do, uh, preparing them for it and making sure that they're doing the right things, they're going to be on their own. And what a great group of uh, young men, uh, some that came in a little later than others, but have really blended it with our team and led our team to the season we're having uh, so far. Next two segments, we're going to hear these guys talk about what it's meant to them to have worn the black and gold. And it's kind of neat to hear uh, the different perspectives. It means uh, different things to different guys. Some have played a lot, some have not. But, but the thing that comes out, it means something to all of them. It's been an important uh, part of their careers? Well, I think just trying to be a part of something special. Every, every human being is looking to be a part of something and uh, lose themselves in something, whether it's a relationship, a job. It happens to be our team. And we just happen to have the right kind of guys, and those seniors have, have been the right kind of guys. And like I said, that's the reason we're having the success that we're having this year is because those guys have led us in the right direction. 20 Golden Eagles seniors who played for the final time at the Rock this past Saturday, but uh, they've got some football left. So let's spend a few minutes and uh, find out what it's meant to these Golden Eagles seniors to wear the black and gold. What it means to me to wear the black and gold is uh, it's an honor. It's to be able to wear those colors like the players before me, like Brett Favre, Ray Guy, and be able to wear them with my teammates now, just knowing that we're all part of the same family, all of our, a part of the same tradition, that they went ex through the exact same stuff that we went through. It's, it's great to know that we have a family and community like that. The black and gold means that you, sh you work for everything. Like here at Southern Miss, we're not, we're not really given really anything. Everything we've got, we've, weren't, we've earned and worked for. And it just, it just shows that when you work for stuff, like you can just get it. Like you can benefit so much from everything you've worked for. When I put my shoulder pads on, my helmet, tie my cleats and I go to practice, it just just empowered me when all the guest speakers we had came back talk about the black and gold when it meant to them. It just show you the passion they have 
and just like it empowers you to have that same passion. And when you go out there on Saturdays, you're just not playing for your brothers on the team. You're playing for everybody that played before you and everybody to come after you. Honor. I feel like that, I, that I'll be able to honor the guys that came before me. Because uh, I remember, man, when Derek Nix and those guys played here. They from my area, like I said earlier, and, and just watching those guys play on TV, it was that blue collar, hard nose, running straight at you, attack right down your neck. We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide. It's not gonna be razzle dazzle, it's just gonna be blue collar, hard working football, and I think that's how football should be. With the black and gold, it really mean to me, like, it really mean a lot to me, cause they let me come into their family for like really being a fifth, a fifth year senior. Like, they put me in the home, and they really showed me like, a lot of love. It's basically the four things Coach Munkin preaches to us every day, which is toughness, discipline, effort, and finish. Because if you don't have those, you're really not representing Southern Miss because there's so much more behind Southern Miss than people just think. And I really appreciate, appreciate this program and this school because it really helped me out a lot. Hard work. Nothing comes easy and you have to get out there and you have to grind and get it every day. It's not, it's not something that you were born with. You have a gold spoon or a silver spoon in your mouth. You have to really just go build it brick by brick like the rock. We be out there with your brothers, win or losses, but we just being around and just knowing that you put time in with each other. And the black and gold, man, I mean, just seeing our fans come out there and just smile and you know we got you, we support you, win or lose. You know, that, that means a lot to me. I mean, it means to me just to wear the black and golds, to fight for everything you want. Like, nothing's going to come easy. You have to, you got to give your all and put all your effort into it to get what you think you deserve. The Southerners were 2-0 and ranked number one in the UPI College Division poll when they met Memphis State at Faulkner Field on October 4, 1958. Before a crowd of 11,000, the Southerners trailed Memphis 22-21 with about nine minutes left, and the situation quickly worsened for the home team. Quarterback George Sekul had to leave the game with a chip bone in his left wrist, and quarterback Ali Yates was already out with a chip bone in his right hand. Coach Thad Pivan had no choice but to call on little used reserve quarterback Billy Larson. But with five minutes to go, Larson engineered a drive that stalled at the Tiger 15-yard line with 43 seconds remaining. Sophomore Hugh McInnes trotted on the field to try the first field goal of his college career and calmly drilled the ball through the uprights for a 22-yard field goal to give Southern a 24-22 victory. A 24-22 come for behind victory over Memphis State at Faulkner Field on October 4th, 1958 will always be remembered as one of the great moments in Southern Miss football. The black and gold means to me something just of just the underdog and then there's someone that just is going to come in there and fight. And like even when I was at Houston, we didn't think we were going to beat Southern Miss and they came in and just just whooped us so I mean that's when I came to Southern Miss I knew I was coming to a team that was was going to punch you in the mouth and that's I really think that's the black and gold what the black and gold is they're going to punch you in their mouth and just keep throwing haymakers. It means a lot to wear, wear those colors you know uh, Coach Muck and his staff you know chose for me to come here and I, I, I value that as being really special you know. What it's meant to wear the black and gold to me has been opportunity and a uh, dream come true really. Uh, like I said, uh, I came not recruited and I'd been told that this is a place you could get a chance to play. So having that opportunity in the Middle Tennessee game to not only do something that everyone's always told me I wouldn't be able to do, but getting to go out there and start and wear the black and gold, put on the black helmet and go out there and play and then win that UAB game was just amazing and uh, getting to live a dream. The black and gold here at Southern Miss 
is 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 legendary. Any anywhere around the country, Southern Miss people know that that black and gold is is fierce, and we're tough, and and we'll do anything uh, to win, and and we have a chance to win, even when people think we might not. So, and people know that we'll have a chance to win when they're playing Southern Miss, so they need to be on their P's and Q's. But that's what the black and gold means to me. The black and gold means everything. To scrap the helmet on. Put that jersey on, pull the pants up, name on the back of the jersey, say run out the tunnel, and the rub the rock to get out there and play. One brothers that I love dearly, each and every day means everything. Tradition. Like I told you before, you know, I'm from Chicago and I haven't really, you know what I'm saying, heard about a lot of Mississippi schools except Southern Miss. And when I heard about Southern Miss, I instantly thought about Brett Favre, Ray Guy, and all these, the history they did, you know what I'm saying, like I told you before. Beating the big powerhouse teams, it's just tradition, man. I, and I'm just grateful that I'm a part of this tradition. What's the meaning to what a black and gold? Uh, toughness, being able to strive through adversity no matter the situation, whether you're up and down, you always find some type of way to persevere and push through. Putting on a black and gold, uh, it means a lot to me. It's, it's like a brotherhood and a family. Basically, we come out here, we sacrifice our time, our energy, being away from our family and I just feel like we all have the same goal and we all want to achieve the same thing, which is getting the championship, getting the ring, and bring it back to the rock. That's it. People are always rooting for you and people always are there to help you. And it sounds cliche, but it really is a big family in Hattiesburg. People, people really do embrace that. And I think that's what I, I, I like the most about it. Well, I guess you could say that, you know, putting on that black and gold was just, it was all about opportunity. And uh, growing up, I, Southern Miss is where I learned what football was. I grew up watching Coach Bowers and things like that, and so I, I've been like I've been introduced into this environment for a long time. And so just to have an opportunity to play here is just a dream come true. What does it mean to win the black and gold? Oh my gosh, it means everything. It's it's just it's just something you can't. I don't know. It's something just you feel like you just become this different being. Uh, He's become just a like a superhero almost. It's just everything I've wanted to be since I was a kid. Uh, I mean, it's everything I dreamed of. Uh, I mean, it was. I don't know. It's. it's I don't know. It was just a dream come true. Southern Miss fans, show your pride with real Golden Eagles gear from the official online store, shop.southernmiss.com. You'll find everything a Golden Eagles fan needs, from jerseys to sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of Golden Eagles products, including official team merchandise from Russell, when it comes to Golden Eagles pride, there's only one place real Southern Miss fans go, shop.southernmiss.com. While you're out partying with your friends this weekend, remember, get a designated driver. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. A message from the Mississippi Office of Highway Safety. And we're back, Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Todd Munkin presented by Bank Corp South. Well, we Golden Eagles are getting ready to head over to Joe IA Stadium, Ruston, Louisiana on Saturday morning to take on Louisiana Tech. And Todd's kind of neat the way the, the conference schedule has played out. You got Western Kentucky and Marshall playing for the East, Southern Miss and Louisiana Tech playing for the West. So this is kind of like the semifinal round of the playoffs, but big opportunity for the Golden Eagles in a big ball game on Saturday. Really is crazy how that worked out, but uh, it's going to be fun. As I told the team, you know, we've been building up this like it's a playoff, and this is what it's all about. You, know, you, don't, you don't fear these moments, you embrace it. Not many teams get a chance to play in games that have this kind of meaning, especially late in the year. And we've had a good year, and we've got a chance to make it a great year. So Louisiana Tech team, I think they've lost three times this year, but uh, Skip Holtz has done an amazing job kind of getting that program going. And, and they've got some guys who have come in as fifth-year guys, like Driscoll, the quarterback. So they've, they've done what it's take to, to get that Louisiana Tech program going again. Yep, back-to-back -back years, they'll have had a, a fifth-year quarterback a year ago, the, the kid from Iowa, and then Driscoll coming in, and it, it's really – 
you know, solidified them offensively. And so, and they've had some other good players around him. So it's going to be a real challenge. Skip's done a really good job. I mean, obviously last year they, they went to Marshall, won our division, had a chance to win the conference, and, and they're back there again. When you look at uh, these guys on tape, what, what pops out offensively and defensively about Louisiana Tech? They've got really good skill on offense. You know, the running back, Kenneth Dixon's a really good player. And uh, I don't know, I think he's a touchdown away from breaking the all-time touchdown record. And then they've got really good receivers. They do a nice job moving the ball around. Then defensively, they're very active. Um, got the Butler kid up front. Um, got a real active secondary. They, they give you lots of looks and get after you. So going to be a real challenge for us as it was last year, very similar. Uh, we've just got to go down there and play good football. A lot of game, things on the line this weekend, too. Obviously, the winner of this game now advances to the championship game. So uh, uh, shouldn't be real hard, I would think, to get your guys uh, fired up and ready to go this weekend. No, they know what's at stake. And, and they knew last week that the game last week really didn't matter. I mean, whether we won or lost, it was insignificant into us playing for the West Championship. But still, I thought our guys were focused. You know, if we don't have our best Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday leading up to this, I don't know what else you, you can say to them other than how many times you're going to have a chance to play for a championship. This is our Super Bowl. This is what our number one goal is. You know, so I expect our guys to, to, to have a great week and, and get ready for La Tech. Before we wrap up, uh, we had a guy retire here in the athletic department the other day, Owen Bulow, Bowen the third OB, who's been around uh, for 42, 43 years in all kinds of capacities here at the athletic department at uh, Southern Miss. He'll be missed. I mean, he's a fixture around here at Southern Miss. Well, it was neat to see the tribute, you know, last week at the game. I know it meant a lot to him, and, and it meant a lot to the uh, to the former players and the people that have been around him. And like I always say, it's, uh, you know, you, you can't always control the hand you're dealt, but you can control your attitude, your energy, and body language. And I don't know if OB's ever had a bad day. You know, we've seen him around the office and around our players. And there's a guy that, uh, for a number of years, has touched a lot of a lot of people here at this university. It's going to be hard to find somebody to uh, blow up that horn at uh, practice with him gone. It sure is. It's going to be fa that's a hard role, and OB has embraced it, and uh, he's going to be missed. All right. Well, congratulations on the win over Old Dominion. We'll see you and uh, after the Louisiana Tech game, but let's go get one there. You bet, John. All right, Coach Todd Munkin of the Golden Eagles against the Bulldogs of uh, Louisiana Tech. Our Golden Eagle hotlines with Todd are done for the year, but we'll have those Golden Eagle hotlines with Doc. Sadler and talk Golden Eagle basketball. So come on by Mugshots Grill and Bar in Hattiesburg. We'll continue to talk Golden Eagle athletics there throughout the year. That'll do it. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time with another inside look into Golden Eagle football. This edition of Southern Miss Sports Today with Todd Munkin has been presented by Bancor South, right where you are, and brought to you in part by the City of Hattiesburg, a proud sponsor of Southern Miss Athletics, UPS. From figuring it out to getting it done, UPS is here to help. Hattiesburg Coca-Cola. Want a taste of everything? Drink Coke Zero with real Coke taste and zero calories. This has been a presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.